Good afternoon, New Day. I'm Owen Savage. And I'm Kate Rothermel, reporting for Trojan News Network. Today's joke of the day was submitted by Mr. Smeltz. Mr. Smeltz asks, how does a farmer get a date? I don't know. How does a farmer get a date? He uses a tractor. Do you have a joke for the joke of the day? Well, we want to hear your best joke. Use the QR code on the screen to submit yours. We don't have any shout-outs today, but if you know of someone that deserves a shout-out, use the QR code on the screen to submit one. Are you and your discovery group slash class ready to show appreciation for our firefighters and dedicated first responders? Here's how you can help Ms. Kastner's discovery group and make a difference. Mrs. Kastner's discovery group will be collecting donations of non-perishable snacks and beverages to be delivered to our local fire companies. They are seeking cases of water, Gatorade, snacks, granola bars, etc. Ontario donate donations are also acceptable to be used at Costco and Sam's Club for the items listed above. We will be collecting items until Tuesday, May 7th. Let's rally together and show our gratitude to those who risk their lives to keep us safe. It's Wednesday, so let's check in with Alana for this week's Weird But True. What's up, guys? It's the other Piper, also known as the Better Piper, here with CNN bringing you Weird But True Wednesday. Oh, hey guys. What is something super disgusting about these? Did you know that wearing these for just an hour can increase the bacteria in your ears by 700 times? I don't know about you guys, but I think that is real disgusting. I love these things, I wear them a lot, but now that I know that, that's, ooh, ooh, that's so disgusting. You're watching Weird But True Wednesday. Make sure to tune in next week. Now that. Thanks, Alana. Are you age 16 or older and looking to make some money this summer in a job starting at $17 an hour? Are you a junior looking for a co-op job for next year? Are you a graduating senior looking for employment until you figure out what is next for you? Do you have a family member looking for a job? If you answered yes to any of these questions, be sure to see Mrs. Gehring today in room 203 to schedule an interview with any of the listed employers. Reminder to the freshman class, your fundraiser has arrived. Please be sure to check your order for accuracy before leaving. Reminder, if you need a ride on the activity bus, remember to sign up by 12.30 p.m. every day. Attention prom goers, did you know you can get a free gown, suit, and shoes for prom? The Northern Dolphin Human Services Center has these available to any student for free. You can walk in Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m or call 717-905-2700 to make an appointment. Attention students, would you like to win a JBL party box, a compact refrigerator, a 43 inch smart TV, Apple AirPods, Beat Studio Buzz, Beat Studio headphones, Beat Solo 3 headphones, or an Apple Watch? Well, the 2024 post-prom is going to have a fun night of competitive games, movies, food, drinks, and a lot of prizes. This event will start on Saturday, May 11th at 11 p.m. and end on Sunday, May 12th at 5 a.m. All students and their prom guests must have a permission slip signed by his or her parents or guardian to be allowed to attend this event. You can pick up your permission slip when you purchase your prom ticket at the cafeteria during lunch or in the high school office. Let's check in with TNN reporter Reagan Buffington on the recent FBLA State Leadership Con Convention. Good afternoon, New Day. I'm Reagan Buffington and I'm reporting on the FBLA State Leadership Conference. Through April 7th to the 10th, the FBLA team traveled to Hershey and competed at the State Leadership Conference. We had two state placers this year in FBLA. The first placer was Alex Laskowski with fourth place in journalism, and the second placer was Kevin Nguyen with fifth place in help desk. So I'm here with Mrs. Kasner, who is the advisor for the FBLA organization. How many people qualified for seats? We had 16 members qualify for the State Leader Conference. So, were you happy with the team's accomplishments this year? Yes, I am. We had several underclassmen go with us this year, and I think they're going to be great leaders in the future. We had some seniors who also did well. We ended up with two members making the state, which is top 10. Kevin Nguyen took fifth and in help desk design and Alex Laskowski took fourth in journalism and she qualified for the national convention which is in Orlando, Florida at the end of June. So yes, I am proud of all, all my members. I had the privilege to interview Kevin Nguyen who was one of our placers at State. Are you proud of your accomplishments this year? Okay, I feel like that I accomplished more because I placed fifth this year compared to my place last year. 
I feel completely satisfied about this. Then I got to interview Alex Laskowski, who was a national qualifier for this year's state leadership conference. I would say I'm not ready for nationals yet because I need to do a lot more studying on my journalism topic, but once I do, I think I will be ready and I'm super excited. That concludes the 2023 to 2024 FBLA year. Congratulations to all the state competitors and good luck, Alex, at nationals. Thanks, Reagan, and best of luck to Alex at nationals this year. Attention fall sports athletes. Signups for the fall sports season are now open. Please go to the UDASD.org website, click on the services, then athletics, then hit the fall sports sign up button. Fall sports consists of football, cheerleading, boys and girls soccer, volleyball, cross country, and golf. You must sign up for your fall sport by April 30th to receive the fall sports paperwork and packet. Any questions, please see Mrs. Shell. Varsity jacket order forms are now available in the athletic office for any athlete that lettered in a spring 2023 fall or winter sport in 2023 to 2024 school year. Please stop by the athletic office for an order form and to see if you qualify. The jackets will be sized upon receipt of the order form and deposit in the athletic office. Any questions? And to pick up your order form, please see Ms. Shell. Jordan Miller, Jana Strait, and Fallon McFadden each had home runs yesterday as the Lady Trojans hosted Susquehanna. But that wouldn't be enough as the Lady Blackhawks would generate 10 runs off 17 hits and three UDA errors for the 10-4 victory. The Trojans' record now stands five wins and six losses. They will look to get back on track when they travel to East Junior to take on the Lady Tigers. The baseball team traveled to Duncannon yesterday to take on Susquehanna. The Trojans continue to struggle behind the plate as they scored one run on two hits, while Susquehanna would utilize seven hits and three Trojan errors to score five runs to secure a 5-1 to one victory. The Trojans will be back in action tomorrow when they host league leader Halifax. The track and field teams competed against Greenwood yesterday with both the boys and the girls teams falling to the Wildcats. The, gr the girls fell 111 to 38 while the boys score was 135 to 15. For lunch on Thursday, the main line will be serving meatball hoagie with seasoned steamed carrots. The alternative will be corn dog nuggets. Both come with fruit and low fat milk. That's going to do it for another edition of the Trojan News. I'm Owen Savage. And I'm Kate Rothamal. Thanks for tuning in. Have a wonderful rest of your day. And remember, in the Trojan Nation, we, we are, are stronger, stronger together. together.